It is only fitting that in a venue of such beautiful prestige, we celebrate and honour a person whose selfless care and genuine compassion had a global impact. Someone who inspired international projects of public service and spiritual uplift that would secure a safe and meaningful future for the millions of lives across the world. And who preached and personified his law of loving service in the joy of others lies our own. Pramukh Swami Maharaj is remembered as a people's guru who reached out to all, irrespective of race, religion and rank. Pramukh Swami's pioneering work has left a strong legacy throughout this country, not only in the form of the iconic Nisden Temple which has become a source of pride for all one million British Hindus, but also through the growing activities of BAPS in the UK, with new mandirs recently opened in Manchester and Birmingham. And on the global stage, it is a source of huge pride for the entire global Indian community that the first Hindu mandirs are now being built in Abu Dhabi and Paris. This global impact is one of Pramukh Swami's enduring legacies, manifested not only through 5,000 temples and centers outside India, but in the special relationships he forged across the world and the thought leadership he offered. It also explains why we are joined this afternoon by a cross-section of colleagues from across parliament, from both houses and representing all parties. Love, first of all. The concept of being able to work and serve everyone is, of course, in the DNA of the BAPS organization. And so the Swami, Pramukh Swami Maharaj's message about love, love for, for humanity, love for uh, our fellow human beings, is a central part of that theme. The purpose of charity is service. It isn't to give because you have extra. It is to give because there are others who need it. And that, I think, is the essence of what the Pramukh Swami was trying to do. Pramukh Swami Maharaj lived by the maxim that in the joy of others lies our own. In the UK, he was the inspiration behind our magnificent Neeson Temple, a familiar sight on our London skyline, known as much for its service to the local community as it is for its beauty. That dedication to Siva is found in all 14 of the Mandars Pramukh Swami inspired across the UK. He was a truly amazing, extraordinary and inspirational person who has done so much over seven decades to help so many people around the world. And he is such a great spiritual leader. As has been repeated many times, his message, in the joy of others lie our own, is universal. And the world would be a much better place if you and I and everyone follows his message. Thank you, my dear friends and well-wishers for joining us to celebrate the life of a unique individual whose contribution to humanity will be remembered by successive generations. Throughout the program this afternoon, we've seen how countless people have actually, across the globe, have benefited from His Holiness's deep spirituality, as well as 
Today, we've been, we have seen how so many organizations and communities have actually been inspired, not just by his spirituality, but by his humility and his steadfast humanitarian approach. On behalf of the trustees of the BAPS Swaminarayan, Sansaya UK and Europe and the Neeson Temple, I feel very privileged today to stand here and show our gratitude to all of you for taking time out of your busy schedules to come and support us in the centennial anniversary of His Holiness Prabhu Swami Maharaj. It's actually how far his words stretch, how, may, how inclusive it is, how many people are involved with those and actually how we can all be part of that wherever we come from. It's, it has been really enlightening actually and quite joyous as well with the different people talking and the different groups and the different voices. It's been really lovely to be part of, so thank you. But I think what today was really about and what's fascinating as a governance person, actually this is about what businesses need to learn, this is what other people really need to learn. So having a purpose that is more meaningful and societal than just doing something because you want to do it. So I think there's so much we could learn from Brahmakswami's life um, that we could apply in business, that we could apply anywhere in the world. And I really hope that message gets out to people. His Holiness Brahmakswami, the wonderful work and the celebration of the work but by such a diversity of people and the speeches was just absolutely amazing really. It really bowled me over on how touching they were and also bringing in the youth together with the older spectrum and how His Holiness has reached out to so many people in so diverse areas and not just for the Hindu community. I think that's a great, you know, that's a great legacy and we should continue building on that legacy. Thank you.